But welcome to Holy Habitus. This year I'm vlogging on the shed, seeking a harvest evangelistically deliberate. And that's the idea that if we want to see a harvest, we want to see people coming to faith, then we need to be a bit more intentional about the way that we engage with people and seek to do this thing called evangelism. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about fear, really. And I'd like to look at fear from a slightly different angle. I remember when I was about 12 or 13, I had a great school teacher who uh, was very inspiring and he set up a debating club very cool I know and a few of my mates and me got involved in this and it was great fun actually and uh, I learned a lot of my public speaking skills that are useful today because of that and uh, he entered me into a public speaking competition and uh, I had to go and speak on the international ban on landmines and why that would be a good idea or something of that nature and uh, I remember going to the strange school hall with all these strange people and very intimidating a, a competition and having to stand up there and speak and I remember saying to my teacher beforehand, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, I'm a bit afraid. Um, and he said, that's not fear, that's adrenaline, preparing your body for the challenge you're about to face. And I've always remembered that because it was him giving an alternative interpretation of the feelings that I was experiencing, the adrenaline that was running through. And, and uh, him essentially saying, fear marks opportunity. That uh, your body's response, that, that heavy beating heart, that um, kind of quickness of breath, is actually your body pumping itself for... Um, taking on op an opportunity. Fear marks opportunity and I think sometimes in our evangelism we need to be aware of that because uh, we can so easily run away and take the, that fear to be an indicator that um, this is a bad situation I need to get out of it rather than for us to think maybe this is me powering up to meet that challenge head on for Jesus. It reminds me of Matthew chapter 14 the story of Jesus walking on the waves where uh, he sent on the disciples ahead of him on the boat and he's coming in the dark walking on the waves and the disciples catch sight of him and they, they're terrified. They think it's a ghost. And Jesus says, don't be afraid, it's me. Sometimes we're in a situation and we're terrified and we see the ghost or the ghoul of a terrible possibility. We think, oh no, what happens if this happens? Or I'm on the verge of something terrible uh, taking place and I need to get out of this situation or backtrack or change the subject. But maybe Jesus is saying to us in those moments, don't be afraid, it's me. I'm in this. Actually, get out of the boat and come, come towards me, like Peter did. So sometimes we just need to uh, change the, the very way that we see or interpret our own body's response to what we're doing. And uh, fear marks opportunity. So this week, whenever you feel your heart beating a little bit faster, whenever you, you, you feel like your breath's uh, getting quicker uh, and you start to think, I need to run away, actually engage. Maybe fear is marking an opportunity that God wants you to take. And wouldn't it be wonderful if you got out of the boat and stepped onto the water?